this Thursday morning, it's time now to go across the console. Welcome to the studios, Amy Rowe, Fulton County Chamber of Commerce. How are you? Hey, I'm doing okay, Baron. How are you? Very good. we got a pretty day going on out Yes, we do. I think it needs to stay like this. I'm not looking forward to Saturday, so uh, I'm just well, going to channel this if energy. you can make it happen. Well, you know, if I could do that, then I might rule the world. And I, don't think I, could, I don't think I'm that good at all. <laughs> Maybe somebody well, else in this room could make that happen. If I... Uh, Somebody in the recent election can make the weather do what they want to do. I'd be all in favor. Yeah, right? that would be great. Two two three six zero five nine is our number, but you're not calling me, so I'll shut up. I'm still having withdrawals from Trading Post, I think. So, uh, Fulton County Chamber of Commerce. Yes, that's this me. is an interesting time of the year in any Chamber of Commerce. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, we got the holidays coming up, and then the first of the year, and so forth. Yes. Why don't you tell us what's going on? Yeah, so we've got a lot going on. It's. Uh, been quite fascinating. Uh, just lots of uh, preparation. Uh, yesterday we had our board meeting and uh, can't say who the, the new board members are because we haven't told them yet, but we oh. did have three <laughs> open board seats. Uh, so, uh, them to yeah, get away. yeah, we don't want them to run away yet. So, uh, but uh, we do have uh, three new officers. I can say that because they know. So, uh, Stacy Wilson is going to be the president. And uh, Chris Wood with Mike Anderson is going to be the vice president. And uh, Greta Lynch from RTC will be the uh, treasurer. Abby likes that. <laughs> so Greta's great. All of them are great. So we're excited about that uh, new lineup and the new board members. So uh, once I get that message out, then we'll get, uh, get them onboarded and start finalizing plans. Speaking of plans, the budget. This whole Department of Labor overtime thing, oh, Baron, it's been quite fascinating. Uh, really? Yeah. Well, they had the ruling yesterday. We don't know what happened, but we thought we had all the budget set, and then uh, they came out with that whole Department of Labor overtime where uh, a person who is, uh, and, well, anybody who works for a company, basically, um, has to make 47476 um, if they're uh, not exempt. And so basically no one's exempt because if you do any interstate commerce, then uh, you basically have to either do the overtime or you have to give that person 47476 And the interstate commerce is based on if I were to make a call to my chamber master, which is in uh, Minnesota, or if I call Staples in Wisconsin. Uh, so no one's really exempt. You okay, can um, let's back up a little bit. First off, explain to me the phrase chamber master. Chamber Master. That's the thing I've been yapping about forever and ever and ever, amen. That was the new uh, software that the Community Foundation, you probably heard me say that yes. when that happened back, uh, that they had uh, given us the money to purchase, which will provide the opportunity to have more professional um, and efficient service for our um, customers coming in January. Now, this Department of Labor, Labor Judgment, mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, is this a State Department of Labor or This federal? is the Federal. Federal so government everybody. has decided that. Everybody has decided that you uh, basically, as an individual in your company, right. um, so anybody. Assuming um, you're not management and on salary. Uh, even that. Even that now. Even that now. So that's been the, uh, so the original ruling obviously was for those folks who were not executives, but this mm -hmm. right here uh, does affect the executives. So that's where I come in. And uh, if. And you had built the budget based on the previous. Um, yep. I had had a review and got a little bit of a raise. I was so grateful for that because I worked my little tail end off last year. Mm -hmm. um, and then this uh, information came out and we got clarity from multiple attorneys about that. So now trying to figure out what that looks like. And on the, 23rd, on the 23rd hour, having to, uh, to reestablish things. So you're going to have to redo the entire yeah. budget hour. Well, not redo the entire one, but just be creative. So um, that's just what happens, right? Mm. You have to come back and figure out what's going on. So they always mess with that rule. Yes, they do. I came out of college and got a manager job and was not happy. Yeah, and we, you know, <laughs> well, I <laughs> well, yeah. got 50 hours. No, you don't. You yeah. got 40. That's what your salary's at. Yeah. Ultimately, you know, uh, we thought. Well, I think multiple people thought, and I've spoken to many of my. Um, colleagues from other chambers, they were hopeful that this would not affect nonprofits because with nonprofits, you're telling me I have to get a raise and I have to raise my raise. So I have to find my own money to give me oh, a yeah, raise. Yeah. Uh, that seems a little bit interesting. That's why right? I'm in the kind of radio where you're not selling DVDs. Yeah. Every, you know, <laughs> call in now with your pledge. That kind of thing. So that's, now, you know, so you, as a member, as the head of the chamber, mm -hmm. 
perhaps you could tell me how then does this affect private is this going to affect the private business community here as well oh yeah everybody anybody who's <clears throat> in business has to actually decide what they're going to do with that obviously they would need to speak to their attorney and figure out what um, level of comfort that they have um, with that I know that um, I believe uh, Perkins um, Peterson Wagner and per Perkins did um, for the HR Association um, a program on that to kind of help them um, but I think a couple things have changed since then so reaching out to your attorney just to figure out what that looks like for a specific company I understand that they're attempting to help where they feel like they're wanting to get folks some money that they feel is due but it just makes things a bit more complicated than at the 23rd hour so uh, we are always tenacious and we're always creative so we'll figure this out we had a really good conversation about it yesterday and we will just continue that just means I get to work a couple extra special hard days to try to just look at that and uh, with my current treasurer and the board and figure out those details so so the business community is getting hit by a ruling from the US Department of Labor that they're gonna have to pay out more wages mm -hmm. than they did before yes yeah okay. so everybody if they haven't actually looked into that they should um, and like I said we're not the experts so they would need to speak to an attorney in the in the area one of our great attorneys and just ask those questions figure out what that means for them so uh, it's fascinating, but um, you know that's just what it is. Every yeah. day something happens, you just readjust, you get you get it done, and you make it happen, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and I've been without an assistant. I I think I alluded to that. Maybe maybe not for two months. So, you know, this comes at a time where where you're without assistant. Now you've got extra stuff to get done. But that's why I moved home is just mm -hmm. to keep on keep it on. So, uh, I did hire an assistant, uh, Beth Miller. She came from Work One. And uh, she started on uh, the day of Boo Fest, which probably shouldn't have done that. I thought she might panic on the first day because she had wild children uh, running around and were slinging candy left and right. So, uh, but it was the first day of the uh, payroll. So, oh, the, the kids were. Oh out gosh, Uber. yeah, oh, okay. it was. Yeah, she started on the thirty first. She had some. Oh, she does have children too, but <laughs> oh, no, she started on the 31st and she said, now, is this how it is every day? And I said, well, not exactly, but uh, we're grateful for her. And she's doing part-time right now because we're working on cleaning some um, QuickBooks uh, issues up and getting prepared to set the stage for efficiency for next year. So we thought, what better time than right now to take care of some of these uh, issues that we needed to set straight and make 2017 the best it can be so Excellent. lots of stuff there how do I get a hold of you if I'm, if I'm a business and I'm in town coming into town around town in the county and I think you know what I ought to check out what the chamber can do yeah well if they want to look at the website obviously uh, the Fulton County Chamber uh, dot com that's there they can even sign up through their chamber membership now because of chamber master and uh, they can check it out. See, that's the <laughs> kind of a nerd about that software. It gives me lots of I didn't of know it was software. You said it, and I'm like, I am the key holder. You know, <laughs> uh, um, now, this software, the Chamber Master, mm -hmm. is not something they got to get. That's what you have. We right have that. Okay. So we're grateful um, what it will do when they get their invoice um, in January, because we're going to uh, invoice in January this year instead of in December, just because um, of the fiscal year, we're going to try to make it a bit easier. Uh, they will get um, the opportunity to do member login. And so there's a member informa information center where they can actually talk to each other uh, business to business. They can have access to all the chamber member um, addresses on a mail merge so they can send out information to the members. They can pay their invoices um, for membership or events online. They can post events to each other so that they can um, tell people what's going on. Um, so lots of good resources there. So that was one of the things we felt like we needed an opportunity to not only provide a more professional and streamlined um, opportunity for keeping information and reports so we can better understand dropped memberships and where they are and we were using Excel spreadsheets which is fine but they don't calculate in 2.5 seconds where Chamber Master I have it on my phone I can tell anybody at any time how many members I have if their memberships accurate I can update information uh, but we didn't have the tool for the members either all something that they could actually do in the comfort of their home businesses are busy they yeah. don't have time to come see me yeah. um, every day of their life if they want something. They don't have time to do that. Um, so we want to provide value for them where they're at. And uh, this is a tool that we used in multiple other chambers. Um, most chambers have Chamber Master. So we were just grateful that the Community Foundation decided that they wanted to support us last year on that. 
Um, and so we, we've been working diligently to get that set up so that we can roll it out when January comes. We've had obviously a couple staff staffus with, you know, staff change and other stuff, but we're still working diligently and Life yeah. happens when you're making plans. Amen, brother. I have figured that one out like hundred percent in the last year. I don't know that I've ever had a time when everything that you know, the best laid plans get shot to heck in a hand basket every oh, day. Man. Hand basket, yeah. So but we just keep on trucking, that's all you yeah. can do. So I always thank goodness I'm in radio not newspaper because my mistakes go away. <laughs> Once I say that's it, they're and not on a page. Unless you somebody records you, right? So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. So, so we've got other stuff going on too, though. With yeah, the what Rochester, else is going yeah. On? So the Rochester Downtown Partnership. Uh, Tim and I were just speaking about that. Uh, we are uh, working for a partnership, uh, just to see what we can do with the other groups. So I think there's some some stuff brewing. I don't think I have the license to state any facts, but. Uh, we're going to have a fun December 2nd Santa um, event from the Rochester Downtown Partnership. Um, and uh, they're also working because uh, we received our 501c3 in three days earlier this year. And uh, they've been working this fall on strategizing and putting together their strategic plans for 2017 on what they want to do. And that final strategy session is on November, November 30th. So their budget and their strategies and then working on uh, when Sarah takes over as the volunteer um, executive director so that I can actually focus on the chamber and tourism. Um, so she'll still be most likely in our office. We had been looking at some partnerships, but uh, I will be the president of the board and she will be the executive director. So we will work for another year very closely and get some of these uh, things that they would like to do. Are we working towards uh, having a theater, a functioning theater in town again? Yeah, I mean, that is not under my umbrella or the, um, that's more of a Tim over here kind of thing, but uh, it isn't something that we don't partner with. We had the meeting, uh, was that in October? I've lost track of time, but um, we sat down with the uh, Rochester Redevelopment, Rochester Downtown Partnership, and then the theater group because we're all in this together and uh, figured out party lines of who, what, when, where, and how so that we can make sure that we have the most effective plan forward and that uh, we're not doing a million asks for the same thing. That's always rough, especially in a small town. So mm -hmm. we're still working out those details. Uh, it's not p a perfect science yet, but I think that we just need to continue to have conversations because the Rochester Downtown Partnership is downtown, but that theater project is so big that the Rochester Downtown Partnership would never be able to um, do that well. And right. so we're grateful for the folks, um, the additional volunteers who are uh, working so diligently to make that happen. And it sounds like they've got good news coming up too, but I'm not gonna steal their thunder because that's not my uh, lane to swim in. Um, so, they, but we are so grateful for them and what they're doing um, for that theater there. So, but we're going to continue with the Rochester Downtown Partnership. We are looking at two grants for this coming year, the MSRP, which is the Main Street Re Revitalization, um, and then DEG, which is Downtown Enhancement Grant. have lots of uh, groundwork to do for that, but that would be cosmetic upgrades to the downtown. We've got to call stormwater people and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the architects and all these other folks before just to, to get the details before we can move forward, but that's on the docket if we can make that happen that would be great community foundation has uh, we've had conversations with them about upgrading the pa system um so we're going to try to roll that in together and and make 2017 a pretty epic year if you will if we can pull all this stuff off but like we said best laid plans get shot to heck yeah. <laughs> so you can all you can do is plan and i feel like we've got good plans good team members we, moving in the same direction towards a common goal which is really the the point, right? If yeah. you have lots of ducks quacking in different directions, nothing gets done. But if you can all move in a direction, then it helps. So we're grateful for that. And tourism, you know, I feel so bad. We've been working on that, but they have uh, a website. We have a website developer. Uh, we don't get to put as much time in it right now, but um, we have a website developer who's working diligently and being very patient <laughs> as we're working out. We had a meeting yesterday, uh, have someone who's gonna help with photography um, and a video uh, for that website came up with the domain name, uh, working very uh, diligently on our logo there, and uh, have an econo economic impact study uh, that we are receiving from the state to show what tourism Fulton County looks like so we can make better decisions, and uh, waiting for a call back from Attorney Heller so we can uh, reestablish that tourism commission and make it a little bit more effective. Was that an elected or appointed commission? That's an appointed commission. Um, and, you know, from what I understand is when they had done that back in 2000, which was a brilliant move to, to establish that, 
it was um, established with just, I think it was five board members. Um, and so we're looking at it a little bit different. We've been doing some extensive research with other tourism commissions in the area. And I think we're going to, well, as long as all goes well and they agree to it, uh, base it on sector versus uh, appointment. They will be appointed, but they're going to be appointed based on sector. Oh, okay. So retail, uh, regional retail business, arts and history, Fulton County Chamber of Commerce, Akron Chamber of Commerce, um, LMA, and so that we can have a good representation of what tourism is and those individuals would stay for, um, I think it's a two-year term, and then they would switch out so that we can have fresh ideas. Because tourism really is a, an amazing tool that we're underutilizing. Oh, yeah. Tourism draws folks in and then hopefully uh, with them coming in, they fall in love. So found by accident, stayed on purpose. That's what right. the, the tagline is. We haven't gotten that all rolled out but that's the found by accident we're the best kept se secret you know we're in the middle of nowhere in the middle of everywhere when we were doing all these strategy sessions and we had all 15 team members that's what kept coming back is there's so many resources that no one knows about um, and that's because we don't do a good job always of speaking about that so tourism right. will be that voice and that website will be the um, business card to Fulton County to let folks who are out there uh, know who we are and what we have to offer so they can come in so then hopefully they'll stay and we can increase the tax base and have more stuff going on mm -hmm. that's the evil plan yeah. if you will evil quote unquote um, the desire just to grow our county so that we have uh, better tools to work with and uh, it's a long long long-term plan but yes. uh, that's why we just keep getting up every day putting the heels on walking down the stairs and working with good team members and moving forward and variety is important it's just uh, like, it's variety just like, is the spice of life, yeah. right? Well, I mean, if you have a field, you're not going to grow the same crop in it mm -hmm. every year. You're going to ruin the field. you got a variety of things. Amen. Yep. And I see people spending big bucks to fly all over the world to mm -hmm. the uh, eastern, northeastern part of the country this time of year to look mm -hmm. at the leaves. And i got leaves that are just as pretty as any leaves you can find in Vermont. <laughs> I've never understood that. But yep. anyway, what else do we have? compelling story. On? Yep. We've <laughs> got, I mean, if that's not enough, I, I mean, we can do more if you want. But... <laughs> No, we've had you know we've had some good meetings. Uh, we had the legislative uh, you know breakfast we're looking forward to coming up in the new year, and um, we've got uh, the women in business that we're going to continue. So looking at some of those um, continual events, potentially looking at um, some others that we're going to add as we um, kind of clarify our story and and figure out what we're doing and, and create space and time. We don't want that just to be dead space and time, but looking at how can we support, had done some research with farmers to figure out how to support that. If we needed to, to add farm activity and um, decided that the folks here, uh, the groups that they do a good job supporting that. So uh, we're not gonna add any farm activity at the moment, but support them how we can because they mm -hmm. are a huge part of economic base for what we do. Um, and so we can't deny that they bring in lots of money and that we can be fed because they work, yeah. uh, you know? So we're so grateful. So I followed up with them um, and just thank them because I had some really neat farm families who fed me. And if you feed me, then, you know, that's, and they make good food, those, those mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so it was pretty fascinating this last year of just doing that and understanding ag economics and how it impacts Fulton County. That was fascinating. So it was kind of like my research on the side and kind of buttoned that up and sent my, my thank you letters to the farmers and said, you know, we would love to continue to partner however we can, but uh, that wasn't our main focus. But of course, 100% back, you know, backing of the farm community and what they do. So, and, uh, you know, just assisting on some other uh, support issues with some root causes uh, like education, um, looking at some, we had a meeting uh, about poverty, um, drug addiction, and some other stuff that, you know, we've got all these other stuff to support chamber members. It's member value, but if you're doing this and you're not focusing on the platform, if the platform is broken, then you're really doing all of this in vain. So um, however we can support those movements, we're doing that too. So lots of crazy stuff that no one sees, which is fine. We just keep working, but yeah. it's, but you have to. You have to just keep working on all that because um, you can't move the needle forward if you don't right. move. You got to do the front end and the back end. You know, we've got all these right here. So you continue to, to create a tool that chamber members can purchase and feel happy about. But then at the same time, you to work to make their business and their uh, workforce and their community a better place so that they can have a better business. So uh, that's all we can do. Excellent. Amy Rowe, Fulton County Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. As always, we thank you very kindly for your time. Thank you. We I appreciate, appreciate it. it. I know the listeners appreciate it too. It's 1029 at 92.1 WROI.